Welcome back. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. New York and New Jersey are among more than a dozen states suing TikTok, accusing the popular app of harming and failing to protect young people. Jessica Moore spoke with a Manhattan mom who knows the dangers of TikTok firsthand. From a happy kid strumming his guitar to becoming part of a tragic statistic, Zachary Nazario was just 15 years old when he died subway surfing over the Williamsburg Bridge in 2023. What role do you think TikTok played in Zachary's death? Oh, the huge role. It was a challenge of subway surfing. So. Norma Nazario says she had no idea what her son was watching on TikTok until he died. It was very heartbreaking and it was devastated. Um, seeing all the challenges and all the algorithms that he kept on receiving. As a parent, I'm horrified by what TikTok has done to a generation of our children. Nazario has since sued TikTok and now has some high-powered fellow parents joining the charge, including New Jersey Attorney General Matthew Platkin. The harm inflicted on our children cannot simply be measured in dollars. Instead, it must be measured in broken relationships, in rates of depression, and in self-harm. Platkin is among 14 attorneys general from around the country who just filed lawsuits against the social media giant, alleging TikTok intentionally exposes young users to mental and physical risks while collecting and selling their personal data to advertisers. TikTok does not allow children under 13 to sign up and restricts some content for those under 18. But the lawsuits allege children can easily bypass the restrictions, entering an adult world of doom scrolling. In other words, TikTok built a platform to exploit teens for profit. TikTok responded to the lawsuit saying in part, quote, we strongly disagree with these claims, many of which we believe to be inaccurate and misleading. We are proud of and remain deeply committed to the work we've done to protect teens, and we will continue to update and improve our product. Nazario hopes the lawsuits result in a total ban of the app, or at the very least, stricter regulations for children. Jessica Moore, CBS News, New York. The lawsuits came out of a national investigation into TikTok that started two years ago. The Surgeon General has since called for a warning label to be placed on all social media platforms. 